Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to be tying a ambulance buzzer for you. That's a request from one of our new subscribers, Eric Hartman. <coughs> so, um, materials you're going to need for this are uh, a uni and fire orange. I've got a red micro glint, some uni floss and wine. Um, the hook I'm using is a full and milk Czech nymph, size 12. And then we've got a couple of UV resins. So we have the Golf Ambulance in fluorescent red and uh, Loon Outdoors Clear uh, in thin. So first thing we need to do is take our fire orange thread and just lay down a base. This is helpful to um, just add a little bit of colour. It shines through the micro glint when you put it on the body. Um, <clears throat> you can see I'm using the thread just to control the turns as they go down and keep them nice and neat. And I'll cut the tag end off as I get closer to where I want it to be. I'm just going to take this slightly round the bend. And at this point we want to take our uni floss and tie in a decent length. We're going to use this for two things, we're going to use it for the rib and also for the body, so take a length, so about 10 inches. And what I like to do is just line it up against the body, put a couple of loose wraps in, and just pull it tight, wrap over that tag end, all the way back up to the start. Put your floss to one side and we'll finish. A really simple fly, it's effective all year round. Uh, I really love the red um, to have in my box, so I would definitely recommend that you give them a try. So the next thing I'm adding is the micro glint. Again, I'm going to take that all the way down the body, just going to get rid of that tag end. I like the micro gun because you can tie it on like a normal thread. It's got a little bit of sparkle which really shines through under the rib. Take it all the way down, maybe the exception of one turn so you get a little bit of taper right at the at the base and then back up, touching turns all the way. And you'll see, even though it's touching turns when I put the UV on it, the fire orange will still shine through. Again, all the way up. Now I've left a tiny wee space just right the eye. I always like to leave a wee bit of space when I'm just so that I can finish the fly properly and not crowd the head there. So there's a couple of mil just at the eye. Okay, next step we're going to reintroduce the fire orange. Take off the tag. What you want to do is wind this up, I'd say about a third of the shank, and that represents your thorax area. And you take your floss. Now it's important that you keep this tight, so what I like to do is give it a little twist. anti-clockwise to tighten up and then start at the back just keep it tight keep twisting if it loosens off and then bring these up evenly spaced up the body what I do is just bring that thread to the front you can see I've created a nice little rib section there and then I'm going to unwind the floss slightly and start to wind across the thorax to create the head of the fly. And what I like to do is go back and forth a couple of times just to build up the profile of the thorax. Not too much because you'll build it up a little bit with the resin. Bring it to the front, cross over your thread, 
and lock it off. A couple of turns to lock it off, pull it back, and then cut it away. Just tidy it up. You may get a couple of loose fibres if you do, what I just do is pull them up like that and just snip them away. Fish are not that fussy anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. <coughs> so now that we've got the basic build of the flight, got a little hot spot of orange there on the head, which is a nice little trigger. It's going to work finishing. Take the thread away. Our next step is take the loon or any clear UV varnish that you've got that's thin and just apply a light coat. You don't want to go too heavy. The last thing you want to do is overdress your buzzers. Um, I think anyway. Just get a little needle and spread that. You'll find if you put a coat on the top and then just rotate your vise if you can and spread it as you go you'll get you'll get decent coverage. What I like to do is just pull it up from the back, make sure that that back end doesn't get too um, heavy or you'll lose the profile. Quick shine with the torch. So you'll see that orange hopefully shining through as well. And I've still got a couple of loose fibres there so I'm just going to trim them away. It's the nature of the floss, so you do just have to be conscious to tidy up a wee bit. <clears throat> so next step is the Gulf Ambulance Fluoro Red. Now it's got a really handy little applicator, all of this stuff is great for just adding little accentuations to your flies. I've just adjusted that in the vise a little bit so that it's flat in this area because I'm going to add it very delicately to the back of the thorax just enough for it to pop out. It helps to build the profile of the thorax and also add a little attractor spot. You'll see how it shines under the UV. And then the last step really, another coat of the thin varnish, sorry the thin resin, um, just really to round it off. Again, just be careful that you don't get any excess, and if you do, just run it up. I like to just run it up with a nail and then wipe it away. Okay, Quick blast with a UV torch. There you have it the ambulance buzzer. Now if you want to protect it, which I always do, I just get a final little coat of varnish. You can use any. Um, use hard as nails. So it served me well over the years. That'll just protect the finish, keep it shiny and let it last a wee bit longer. And that's it. If you like this video, please uh, drop a like on the video. If you're new, please uh, subscribe. Your support helps the channel out greatly. And if you'd like to see any other flies, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.